Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making a hot pastrami sandwich in our slow cooker, and it's gonna be quick, simple, and easy. And we're gonna do it all while having a whole lot of fun. We're we back in yeah. the saddle. We're back in the saddle again. We've been missing this. Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we cook up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com. And today we're cooking up a recipe straight from the crock posse. All y'all who are longtime members and start to know the people that are in our posse may know a lady we call Sarah O. And Sarah O sent us an email the other day. And it goes a little something like this Mikey. You are my favoritest YouTuber in the no, whole wide world. No, 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 no. I read that email and it does not say that. Oh, well, it's because I don't have my glasses on. I can't read. Oh. Today's my birthday, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm 40. I'm going to use my glasses. I apologize for the glare. It's just going to be a part of us for a moment, okay? So while you're getting that all put together there, Mr. Old Man Good. <laughs> How do people become members of the Crop Posse? Oh, well, it's real simple. All you have to do is click the little subscribe button down below, and automatically you are a valued member of our society, <laughs> known as the Crock Posse. More like a family, yeah. a, a community, a group of people, young, not so young. <laughs> I'm there now. <laughs> and we just hang, we chill, we, we watch me burn myself. Sometimes we sing together. Sometimes we laugh and we joke together. We've even cried together. We're just doing things. We're doing life. We're doing life local and long distance. That's what we do in the Croc Posse. So if you want to be a part of that, come on, be a part of the Croc Posse. I'm not wearing a Croc Posse shirt today, <laughs> but just imagine I was. Otherwise, croc we're wondering why you're inspecting yourself. Posse. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, back to Sarah O's email. She says, hey, I know that in the past you said if we had a favorite recipe we wanted to share to reach out. I have so many and very few are crock pot recipes. But anyways, today I'm cooking a family favorite around here and I wanted to share it if that's okay. Yes, if it's a family favorite, if it's an original, absolutely you want us to share it and we're going to check it out. We like it, we will put it on here like we're doing right now. Hot pastrami sandwiches. You know, I don't have any Italian in me, but I'm about to. And it starts with this. What you need, Sarah says she needs two packages of dry, it's hard to do with one hand, onion mix. You also need one to one and a half pounds, which we have one and a half pounds of pastrami. She says you can use turkey, but it also works well with beef. You want four to six cups of warm water. We have a four cups of warm water right here. And then some hoagie rolls or hot dog buns. We've got that. We will show that with you when we get this done. And then six to eight slices of provolone cheese cut in half. We'll also show you that whenever it's done. And what you want to do, according to Sarah O, is you want to take the packages of dry onion mix, both of them, and I'll just put them in my little slow cooker here. This is our little Cuisinat, was it a four quart? It's either three and a half or four quarts, I can't remember. Where did my Boston accent come from? That's my Cuisinat. Cuisinart. <laughs> and take both packages, leave the packages out, just put what's in there in the slow cooker. And, not this yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'm excited, I wanna try this, I love pastrami. And then you want to take your warm water and put it in there as well. Watch out for glass on glass and watch out for the spillage like I'm doing. I just got our kitchen cleaned and now I'm gonna have to clean it up again. I didn't do it the first time, but you know. <laughs> I'll clean that up later. <laughs> Let me grab a spatula. And all you want to do is dissolve the onion mix into your warm water until it is dissolved. <laughs> Just like that. And then she says, then add the meat. And cook it on low for four hours. She says that um, I have done it up to six, but it depends on your slow cooker. So if you're using a six quart slow cooker, it's going to take less time than yes. a four quart. Does it smell good? It smells fantastic. Now I would like break that apart a little bit so it doesn't get like when it cooks, it doesn't get stuck. It doesn't all get together. stuck all together. Yeah. Okay, well that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break up the pastrami and put it down in there. And I'm going to do this. 
well, three times for a pound and a half of pastrami. I have been working on our patio. As y'all know, we talked um, on some of the live shows that I've been working on um, making Chris's uh, redneck party deck a little more party friendly and pouring some concrete uh, pavers. And so I am starving right now. So I am absolutely looking forward to these sandwiches. You have no idea how hungry I am right now. It's very difficult for me not to just do it like this, but we're going to abide by the rules set forth by Sarah. Oh, <laughs> and I'm sure as it cooks down in that onion soup, it's going to taste amazing. It smells good right now. Onion soup, it's good for anything. It's I mean, a good seasoner. It is. It's got a great smell to it. The aroma that you cook for a while makes your house smell good. And then, of course, whatever you're cooking it in is going to taste really, really good. Now my hands are kind of wet from... <laughs> Work smarter, now, not harder, get Mikey. Pastrami from, like, your actual deli, mm -hmm. which probably would be a less expensive way to go about it. You can um, probably get uh, pastrami from your deli instead of buying it in the prepackaged, um, and it probably will be cheaper that way. We, and if you do, you're gonna just wanna ask for it thinly sliced. Um, we bought it this way because I think the deli was closed when I was there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody's hiding things away. I'm gonna spit out my gum. I chew gum while I talk and while I sing and stuff like that so that it keeps my mouth moistened. <laughs> but my mouth is moistened enough right now because I'm foaming at the mouth for a little piece of this pastrami. So pardon me. You also need to wash your hands. I will. After Just you. as soon as I'm done. <laughs> That's one of the perks about being a cook. <laughs> I'll also, while I'm talking to you with my mouth full, oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm, I'm a, Chris is over there saying, No Miss Frugal over here. <laughs> so I will keep those and wash those. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds you of when you go to your grandma's house <laughs> and you're looking for the butter. Uh -huh. And so you got to go through 18 tubs of butter only yeah. to find coleslaw and green beans and casserole. At and my mom's house, it's the Cool Whip tubs and the Country Crop. I'm going to wash my hands. When I come back, these hands will be clean in three, two, one. My hands are now clean, and all I want to do is stir this up. I thought you were going to say, this is zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> no, that's copyright protected. I can't say that. <laughs> but I'll still shake my rope. <laughs> Who sang that? I don't know. All I want to do is do a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Okay, for y'all who... <laughs> Listen to uh, early 90s hip hop. Who, who, that was, was that Rump Shaker? I don't know what that was. I'm trying to, I, who knows? I, we're, we're so off topic. <laughs> but, see what I did there? Ah. Now all I want to do is put a lid on it. And I want to set this on low for four hours. Can you do high? Yeah, I would say you probably could get, we have other recipes that mm -hmm. are similar, and I would say if you do high, you're going to want to stir it uh, at least an hour in, and it may be done an hour to okay. two hours. So. What you're doing is, um, just like with any recipe like that, you've got a soup, you've got a meat, you want everything to kind of marry up together, just like when we're doing the Mississippi beef roast or anything like that, you want those flavors to kind of marry up in, and all the liquids kind of go in together and get that flavor that you're wanting. So we're going to come back in a little while and I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself in order to make sure that this tastes good so that I can show this to you. <sighs> we'll be right back in three, two, one. And just like that, our pastrami is done. Let's check out Sarah's recipe, shall we? Take off the lid, ooh, and there comes the steam. Y'all, it smells so good in my kitchen right now, it's ridiculous. Look at that. That meat has soaked up all that oniony, oniony flavor. It's juicy. It's hot. I can tell it's hot just from the steam coming off of it. Oh, it smells so good. And then what she says to do is to take your meat and put it on top of your bun, on top of your hoagie roll. Hot, 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 hot. She didn't say to do that. 
We'll get just a little bit more. And then the next step, after you've done that, and I'll be more smart, more smart about it. <laughs> you know better. Get my meat on top of there. She says to take some provolone cheese. There's a fly in my house right now. Take some provolone cheese. I'll set that right there. And put on top of the meat, on top of your sandwich. So I'm going to take, I'll take one slice. If I can get it out of the thing. There's or two. two. There's two slices, but that's okay. Because I'm still hungry waiting on this, so I'll eat this while the other's broiling. I'll take it and cut it, break it in half. Put it on in thirds. <laughs> and put it on top of my meat. And I've got my broiler going. And I'll put that right there. I'm going to set this in my broiler just until the bread turn, or the, uh, well, the bread and the cheese turn golden brown. So let me slide that right in my broiler. And then in the count of three, we will have ourselves a sandwich. One, two, three. And now we have ourselves a golden brown piece of bread, as you can see right there. And so I can do this without burning my fingers again. Look at all that melty goodness right there. That melted, or uh, this is provolone cheese. Aunt Lou was up and she was eating all our Gouda cheese a while ago. And then one of the things she said to do, her husband likes it with mustard, or she said another way to do it, which I'm going to do now, is she likes to take, or her husband rather, likes to take the juices, the, the soup, and make like an au jus with it. I'm waiting for somebody to say, bless you. <laughs> so I am going to try it just like that. Put my bread on the sandwich. One of the things I'll do with uh, like um, our perfect, or not our perfect roast, our uh, Mississippi beef roast is I'll dip the um, the bread actually down in it, but that's not that's not nice. That's not something you're supposed to, it's not cooth because you don't want to dip your bread in everybody's food. People have issues with that sometimes. So. Oh, Michael! Mikey! That's hot. And delicious. <laughs> All right. Cricket too. Oh, you've got something black on your forehead. I can't see it. All right. So I'm gonna try it by dipping. This is my bowl. I can double dip if I want to. And we're gonna give this puppy a try. You can really smell those onions and all that seasoning in the meat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or I should say, Sarah. Oh my gosh. You like it? Sounds good. <laughs> Usually, we will do our little test kitchen first and try a recipe where we thought, oh, this is so simple, it'd be so easy. If we don't like it, we didn't have that many ingredients. So, this is a dry run. This is like one of the best sandwiches I've ever had in my life. I'm not kidding you. I'm not cheesing this up. Ah, yeah. Oh my gosh, Sarah. That is one of the best things I've ever tasted in my life. I'm serious, it's simple. The pastrami is fantastic. The bread has got crisp on that bun, and then of course you melted the cheese on the other bun. And that is super, super good. And I can see why you said that your husband likes it with mustard too. I can see how mustard, that vinegar, would really go well with the onion and all the spices in the meat. Mmm, I even a pepper. Extra in the meat. That's phenomenal. Mm -mm -mm. Sarah and Mr. O, we want to thank you again for sending us um, a you submission. You can your food, dear. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> mm. But again, we want to thank you guys for sending us that sub uh, submission. If you want to do that, if you want to, if you think you, if you think you've got this tried and true recipe, kind of like uh, these hot pastrami sandwiches that you want us to try out, maybe feature on the site and on this channel. All you have to do is send us the recipe to Chris at recipesthatcroc.com, 
or Mikey at RecipesThatCrock.com. Or if you want to harass her, like I tell you all the time, Aunt Lou at RecipesThatCrock.com. We'll check them out and uh, we'll try to give them a try. And hopefully it turns out as good as these hot pastrami sandwiches. Also, like we told you before, become a member of the Crock Posse. You'll see more of this and you can send us your submissions. All you got to do is click that little red button down below. Give us a like on this video. This is the kind of stuff you like. I hope you like it because I really, really like this sandwich. <laughs> this is so good. And then also give us a comment down below. How would you do your pastrami? Would you do a dip like I'm doing, like a French dip? Would you put some mustard on it? Maybe some Thousand Island dressing, maybe some sauerkraut, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm saying that this is delicious. And I'm gonna get off here so I can finish this sandwich and maybe eat me two, three, four more. I don't know. We wanna thank you for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes. And uh, y'all keep watching and we'll keep cooking. And all will be well. Bye. And today we're going to be cook cooking. We're going to be cooking. You're such a pro. Filet. That was a cheesy joke. <laughs> that was hot. Not quite. Almost.